Hiya, uh, my name's Darren, I work at Kinetic in England and I've just recently graduated with an engineering degree. Um, when I was studying in school I was really interested in physics, maths and more importantly how these two combined to show how things move and there was one factor that was important was gravity. Um, so I'm going to talk to a little bit about gravity and some work that Galileo done, an experiment he conducted to show how gravity affects objects. So what uh, we've got here is a tennis ball, one that um, Andy Murray and R Rafael Nadal use, a very tasty apple, good to eat, and some even tastier grapes. So what Galileo done was he took everyday objects to the top of the um, tower in Pisa and he would drop them to see how different objects of different size, different um, weight, and see who, what objects would hit the bottom first. So, we're going to conduct these same tests and let's see what happens. So, as you can see, there's a tennis ball, an apple, similar size, different weight. So, what we'll do is drop them at the same height. And what you would have noticed was they both landed on the table at the exact same time. Now this is because of gravity. Gravity acts as a magnet pulling objects to the center of the earth and is, it keeps us from floating into space. <laughs> so yeah these are the two similar size. So we'll try with some grapes, a very small grape, very big apple, big apple, and we'll again conduct the same test and see what happens. Again both landing at the same time. There may be times where you notice that some objects take longer to fall, such as feathers. Now this is because of air resistance. Air resistance uh, is due to the air resistance is due to the air interacting with the bodies, and they're uh, uh, pushing against the object, and therefore taking it longer to hit the ground. Now NASA sent some astronauts to to the moon, and while they were up there, conducted a test with a hammer and a feather. And since there's no air resistance on the moon, let's see what happens. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here, and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? So as you can see, both the hammer and the feather landed at exactly the same time, uh, due to there being no air resistance on the moon. Once again, proving the Galileo's studies that all bodies fall at the same rate. Thanks.